when I first went to Barn on the Farm, I must have been 19. It's one of those places where you, as soon as you get there, everyone's so lovely and you just feel so at home. And people literally came to watch us, even though no one had a clue who we were. They were still like pretty much full up. And I just remember being like, this is the best place on planet Earth within half an hour of getting there. So I feel like you're gonna have the same experience. And it just gets better every year. That's why I can't stop going back. And thank the Lord Josh is up for it because I'm probably boring him a lot now. Um, but I'm gonna play every year until, until I'm 40, I reckon. Ah, <laughs> uh, you heard it here first, I'll be there. Even if I'm not playing, I'm just gonna go. Well, I mentioned that you're gonna be, is it there's like a barn on the farm band? Yeah, so every year they tend to do this thing where they'll get like just a bunch of artists to all go on stage together and just sing songs. What's weird is that it was always like the big artists like Gabrielle Aplin and Hudson Taylor and, mm. and, and Amber Run and everyone like that that I'd always look up to and be like, whoa. Um, but this year, I'm in the band. <laughs> this is where I officially feel most at home, apart from my own home. Barn on the Farm is the most beautiful place on planet Earth. The man's here, the man's here. <laughs> Mr. Barn on the Farm himself. <laughs> You're right. That's oh, yeah. you, isn't it? <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you play, do you bring your playing habit? Yes. Because that is, I swear to you now, that is one of the best songs in the world. I swear to you now, it is one of, one of my favourite all time. Oh, I appreciate that. It really is. Oh, love thank it. you. I, do, I love it. So you've got to, you've got to play it. Yeah. Rehearsals were sick. Um, it was a very quick one. I think we just had to like, kind of tighten a few strings and everything. So it's super easy. But I can't give it up Now I'm on my own And I know you're out there listening I bite my tongue But your name keeps coming up In every conversation In every room It don't matter who I'm talking with I bite my tongue But your name keeps coming up In yeah, every room That was mad How's that go? Good, very good. I really love that. There was a lot of people. That's the biggest crowd I've played here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was mad. It was quite good. I loved it. Loved it. That was so crazy. That's made my body, yeah. It's made my year, that has. That has made my year. What a moment for Plested. I remember I used to see other people um, playing shows here and like people would actually go and watch them and sing along uh, and stand up at the barrier. Yeah. Which that's never really happened to me before. Standing up at the barrier, I've made it. <laughs> that was really good. So excited, that was crazy. So we just got played on Radio 1 and we're gonna listen back. I am so excited about playing this next track, Matt. So uh, it's coming from Plistead, and he's been supported by Vince introducing three counties. Now, he's actually called Phil Plistead. <laughs> Right from Rocket, right from Rocket today. Please stay. Influenced by Drake and Emily Sande, supported by introducing in Beds, Hurts and Barks. Adele Roberts loves it. He's on Radio 1, so let me know what you think. Blessed. Either you love me or you don't. Why do you oh! look, look in your eyes, so did I hate you? Only so I can't even look at you. Don't avoid me, you look at there we go. Found Ah, uh, best friends back together. Yeah. Are you about today? Yeah. 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 No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so those three boys here, uh, that's Keen, but by his, by his music name is Ken. Who is here? Who is here? Come on, applause. The boy, the boy in the middle, the boy that looks like a giraffe, is, is, is JC Stewart. There he is. And the boy 
and the boy to the left, who I can't even fucking see, but you can see. Oh, there he is, his hands up. That is it. That's lovely big plastic. That's <laughs> You know, when boys get together, do you know what I mean? What do we do? We spoke about our feelings and we wrote a song. So, this is a song called Hollywood. Uh, All the focus. Did it take a second to notice? You know a special time in Hollywood. Try to find something to get the thought of you and I. Oh, my, my. So tell me, honey, you are you just a step away from Tony? Anyway, right, little, we'll do a little reaction from what just happened, Phil. Um, so I just sang at Bar on the Farm with Maisie Peters, JC Stewart, um, Lily Moore, and also Maggie Rogers, which I didn't know was going to happen until about an hour and a half before we actually did it. And she's actually headlining Bar on the Farm, and she is incredible and the loveliest person I've met in a very long time. So. It was really special. I'm really happy that that happened. Um, I'm gonna remember that forever, I think. Either you or I, either I'm with or without. We know you are 